Glaciers in the Yukon St. Elias mountain range are disappearing. As they melt, the impacts are being felt locally and globally. As Tori Fitzpatrick explains, for some locals, losing the glaciers is about more than melting ice. Alice Johnson says her language, culture and heritage are intertwined with the glaciers. When you impact an ice field, you impact the lives of people who are here. I'm tied to this land. I'm tied to the water and to the mountains. They embrace me, I embrace them. She feels it's her responsibility to teach younger generations about them before they disappear. She says the glaciers have shaped her people's lives for generations. Like the glacial system is a resource. It's a body of uh, water, um, frozen lands that are still there that were used as transportation routes. Now, climate change is causing them to melt at rapid rates. And she's worried what that will mean for her people. How does that impact the language? How does it impact our culture? Luke Copland has been studying glaciers in the St. Elias Range for almost 20 years. He says these glaciers are the thickest in Canada, but in another century, the smallest of them could disappear. But the big question is, does that cause a greater speed up of the glaciers? Or because the glaciers are thinning over time, are they actually slowing down? For the past two weeks, Copland and his team have been flying to some of these glaciers. They want to understand how climate change is affecting their movements. As glaciers melt, how they move is changing. And that could transform the surrounding landscape in the near term. Globally, about a quarter of all melt coming from glaciers and ice caps, so this excludes the ice sheets, is coming from the mountains in this area. Copland says local melting has global ramifications, including contributing to sea level rise. The small ones that are a kilometre in size or so, each year we come back, we see them getting smaller and smaller, and you project that another century, there won't be any left for ones that are that kind of size today. But it's local people like Johnson who are leading the charge to protect these glaciers. It's our responsibility to protect the ice fields so that no one else touches it. Tori Fitzpatrick, CBC News, Whitehorse.